One of the reasons why I'm so passionate about this freedom dividend is that this $12,000 a year in your hands would then end up making it easier for you to access the sort of housing you want, the assisted living facilities you want. It builds an economy that's built around our needs and values. And there's no better way to do it than just by putting the money into your hands. I've been working as an entrepreneur and business person. Uh, I've run a nonprofit for the last seven years, and I now understand how the capital flows work. We are losing in this country at an epic scale. Like the humans, the citizens of this country, we are being shut out of our own country. Uh, it's madness. And the only way back in is by putting the money into our hands and taking advantage of the fact that in this country, if you have the financial resources, then the market will come serve you, that we can actually start solving our own problems. Right now, the average Social Security benefit is about $1,470. And can you imagine trying to meet all of your needs on $1,470 a month? That, unfortunately, is the situation that more and more Americans find themselves in. I was looking at how Social Security is actually 90% of the income of many seniors today. And so there's Social Security, which you paid into, and you deserve it, and it's your money. And then there's the Freedom Dividend, this $1,000 a month, that is on top of that, that is your right as an owner and shareholder of this country. If you also need to teach financial literacy at the K through 12 level. One thing I've found is that financial literacy is unteachable unless someone has money. You know what I mean? Like if you try and teach someone financial literacy and time value money and compound interest, all that totally just goes right, right in one ear out the other until they have a couple bucks. And then if you force them to invest a little bit of that, then all of a sudden, all of those financial literacy principles become much more concrete.